Good morning, Toby Johnson. I'm Chance, and this is First Things First, period, Tuesday, September 1st, 2015. That means it's time for First Things First on TJTV. I'm Caitlin. Let's start off by talking about upcoming events this month. Today is the first day of the month, and based on our school calendar, we have a lot of activities planned. On Monday, the 7th, it's Labor Day, so there will be no school. Girls who are interested in playing volleyball this year, tryouts will be held from the 8th to the 10th. On September 11th, Franklin High School will be holding their homecoming parade. Our school will be watching the parade, and during the day, we will also be having a tailgate party. From the 14th to the 18th, parents on the green, and also on the 18th is the first school dance. And lastly, students who are interested in this year's school play, you will want to go to the tryouts. The tryouts will be held from the 22nd to the 25th. More information on these events will come as the events arrive. If you missed out on the Scholastic Book Fair, today is your last day to purchase the books that you want from the online sale. If you are new to Royal J, an orientation meeting will be held tomorrow in Ms. Rashid's room, MH8, at 8 o'clock a.m. For current Royal J members, the meeting will be held in Ms. Edison's room, MG6, at 8 o'clock a.m. Now let's go to Celeste to talk more about Royal J. Hey Jag, Celeste here to talk to you about Royal J. Are you an athlete? Are you in a band class before school? Do you like to help teachers in class? Are you concerned about the community and wish to help in some way? Many of you probably answered yes to these questions. And if you did, you are already on your way to becoming a Royal J member. The Royal J is the highest honor you can ever receive at Toby Johnson Middle School. And you can earn the award just by being you. To achieve the award, you must maintain a 3.0 GPA and must complete 16 hours in six areas of your choice. These include school, service, class achievement, the arts, scholastic achievement, leadership and participation in community service. If you are interested and want more information on this, come to the orientation meeting on Wednesday, September 2nd at 8 o'clock in MHA with Ms. Rashid. If you are interested, this meeting is the one you want to go to. I'm Celeste and I'll see you next time. Thanks Celeste. 7th and 8th graders, don't forget to participate in lunch games today. Leadership will be playing kickball. Just a reminder, if you want to take the PSAT, you must sign up at the student store window. The PSAT is $10 for 8th graders, but free for 8th for graders. The last day to sign up... Op oh. The last day to sign up is October 7th. Now let's go to Catherine to find out about what happened on this day in history. Hey Jags, Catherine here for this day in history. <clears throat> the wreck of the Titanic was found today in 1985 in the morning of September 1st. Argo, an experimental unmanned submersize developed by the U.S. Navy, was searching the ocean liner for investigating debris on the ocean floor when it suddenly passed over one of the Titanic's massive boilers lying at a depth of about 13,000 feet. Next, King George III refuses the Olive Branch Petition. Richard Penn and Arthur Lee presented the petition to the Earl of Dartmouth. However, the King refused to receive the petition. Also in 1998, the Federal Le Legislative makes airbags mandatory. The law made it a requirement that all cars and trucks sold in the United States had airbags on both front seats. Well, that's it for me. I'm Catherine. Now back to you. Thanks, Catherine. Are you interested in playing in a school-wide soccer game during lunch this Friday? Sign-ups are on, are on the stage today and tomorrow during your lunch. Are you a bystander or hero? I'm sorry! The kid's getting bullied! Let's go help! No! He's not getting next to get bullied! Look, the kid is getting bullied! Let's go help! A man from Oak Park creates crazy cars in the Burning Man Festival. The Burning Man Festival is a unique and insane festival filled with art. Thousands of people come every year. One specific thing that draws the crowd is Richard Feldman's insane cars. 
Every year since the late 1990s, Feldman decorates his car with themes. For example, this year's theme is circus. In previous years, Feldman has created a giant toy mouse, a gigantic glowing butterfly, and that's just a few. Well, that's it for today's show. We hope you've enjoyed this episode of First, first Things First, first on TJTV. TV. I'm Caitlin. Have a great day. And I'm Chance. Tomorrow is a late start.